Riders, Rideettes, and Pillions, welcome. I'm Elliot, and you're watching the Van Blam YouTube channel. As I'm sure you're aware, Triumph have just unveiled a new line of Bonnevilles for 2021, with updates to the T120, T100, Street Twin, Speedmaster, and Bobber. A couple days ahead of the launch, I did a little live stream here on YouTube to get my predictions on record as to what Triumph had in store for us, and most of them turned out to be almost completely correct. This is, of course, not a whole new model generation. Uh, the current liquid-cooled generation of Bonnevilles is just too new and still selling way too well for Triumph to release a completely new line. What we got instead was Euro 5 emissions compliance for the models updated, some new paint jobs and slight visual tweaks, and of course, a bump in price. Like I suspected, we also saw the T120 receive the same 65-ish horsepower tune that the Street Twin and Street Scrambler have with the same 900cc motor. Unlike I predicted, however, Triumph did not make the T120 and T100 share the same sort of styling cues as the current Street Twin, Speed Twin, and Scramblers. Instead, they kept it classic, which I think was actually a good move. I was happy to be surprised by a couple of the things they announced. Uh, chief among them were alloy wheels for the T120, saving about 7 kilograms. That's a bike that I've always felt left a lot of performance potential on the table due to its heavy weight, so it's nice to see Triumph making an effort to improve the handling. I was also very pleased to see all of the updated Bonnevilles receive Brembo front brakes. There are a lot more little technical details, bells and whistles, uh, there's a pretty cool special edition street twin and you could check all that out on Triumph's channel. What I want to talk about today though is one thing that was conspicuously absent from this new Bonneville launch and that's the speed twin. My beloved speed twin. As a matter of fact there wasn't anything on that stage that uses this motor, the HP or high power variety of the 1200 cc parallel twin. Ever since the speed twin came out people have been saying where is the speed twin R? There's a Thruxton R and a Thruxton RS, and you know, the Speed Twin and the Thruxton are almost the same bike underneath. I did get the chance to ride a Thruxton R recently, and those Showa forks and Olin's shocks do make a noticeable difference. I'm sure a really big difference if you get them properly set up for your weight and riding style. I posted a poll on Instagram and also here on YouTube asking people what they were hoping to see from the launch, and by far the most popular response was people wanting to see Triumph give that same treatment to the Speed Twin. I do believe Triumph has every intention of producing and selling a Speed Twin R, or RS, or perhaps just upgrading the existing Speed Twin, and I think Triumph have a fairly good reason for waiting as long as they have to announce it. Now I don't have numbers to back this up, but I suspect that the Thruxton, and I mean all the Thruxtons, the base model, the R, and the RS, don't sell all that well. I don't see very many of them out on the road, especially compared to Speed Twins and other Bonnevilles for that matter. And even among online communities, you just don't seem to see all that many Thruxtons represented. At least Thruxtons from uh, the last couple of years, last two or three years, uh, it being 2021 right now. Again, that's purely anecdotal, I'm just some guy on the internet, but it just seems to me like the Thruxton is not a super hot seller as of the last couple of years. And I am sure that the introduction of the Speed Twin two years ago cannibalized a lot of sales from that model. Now, don't get me wrong, the Thruxton is an awesome motorcycle, and I'm pretty sure most of the people who own them love them. But I think that in the last couple years, competition among sporty retro bikes has just gotten too fierce, and with the introduction of Triumph's own Speed Twin, the Thruxton's market share has just continued to shrink. And as of now, pretty much the only reason to choose a Thruxton over a Speed Twin, uh, unless you just prefer the look, which is totally cool, uh, is that you can get those Thruxton R and RS models with the better suspension and brakes and with the bump in power. As soon as a Speed Twin R becomes available, you're going to see even fewer people buying Thruxtons because that will no longer be their only avenue for getting those higher spec components on a bike like this. From the factory at least. I mean, tons of people have bought Speed Twins and converted them into what would essentially be a Speed Twin R, but not everybody wants to do that. So that's why I think Triumph has not been in any kind of hurry to release a Speed Twin R. I think they don't want to see Thruxton sales suffer anymore, especially not if they were to suffer to the point that they might have to discontinue such an iconic model. 
By the way, I cannot emphasize enough, this is just speculation and I'm just some dude on the internet. So if I'm completely wrong about these sales figures and someone can direct me to something that shows that Thruxtons are actually selling super hot, by all means do so and I will issue a correction. So when is a Speed Twin R going to be released, if I'm so sure about that? Well, whether we like it or not, Triumph is going to have to update the Speed Twin to be Euro 5 compliant in order to continue selling it in Europe next year. I know some people take serious beef with the fact that all markets, you know, North America included, have to eat the cost of European emissions compliance. I have kind of mixed feelings about it myself. On one hand, I mean, we've only got one planet and we have to take care of it. But on the other hand, when the Earth becomes completely inhospitable to us, it's not going to be because too many people were riding motorcycles. So I get why that's frustrating, but it is what it is. And that does pretty much confirm that we're going to have to get some kind of update to the Speed Twin later in 2021. At least the announcement of some kind of update. And I think that that announcement is going to coincide with the release of some higher spec models. Now you might be thinking, if they didn't update it this time, what makes you think they'll update it at all? What, what, if, this is, what if this is a sign that it's just going to be discontinued rather than brought into compliance? Well, I do happen to know that the Speed Twin sells extremely well and is actually the best-selling modern classic in certain markets, so I think Triumph will be very keen to keep it on sale. So it's February and we just got the updates to the mainstay Bonnevilles, and we know that there are updates coming to the Scramblers in April. Likely more or less the same stuff we just saw for the Bonnevilles. So then when does that mean the Speed Twin stuff will come out? Uh, I don't know. It could be another two months after that to kind of keep with that two-month cadence. Or it could be later this fall so that Triumph will give themselves as much time as possible to clear out motorcycles that might become less desirable in comparison after the updated Speed Twin is released. So now I want to know what you guys think about this. I know that there's a lot of interest in the hypothetical Speed Twin R. So let me know in the comments what upgrades you would like to see on that bike. Perhaps in addition to the same suspension and brakes and possibly power bump that are on the Thruxton R and RS. Me personally, I hope that once a Speed Twin R exists, that the base model gets a different set of tires. I have Michelin Road 5s on my Speed Twin, which I think are a much more realistic choice for this bike than the Super Sport tires, the Pirelli Diablo Rosso 3s that come on it from the factory. And we did just see Triumph release the Trident 660, which comes with Road 5 standard. However, we also just saw that the other Bonnevilles in the range are still wearing the Pirelli Phantoms, which is a terrible tire that a lot of people hate, so I'm not holding my breath to see a better tire for the base model Speed Twin. Oh, I wish I had gotten here sooner when it was still the evening light. Sun's down. Might still be able to get something. Anyways, guys, that's all I have to say about this. This is my first time covering any sort of news event in the motorcycling world. Most of my content is normally, you know, product information and telling stories that are of a more lasting nature. But the reason I wanted to do this is just to have it on record. So a year from now, when we haven't heard a single word about a Speed Twin R, you guys can come back here and laugh at me and tell me how wrong I was. But if we do get a Speed Twin R, you can bet you'll be able to learn about it here on the Van Blam YouTube channel. In the meantime, check out some of the other videos on my channel featuring my 2019 Triumph Speed Twin. If you like what you see, consider subscribing if you haven't already. You ride safe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. <laughs>